In this video, I'd like to address the many features available to you through the Media Downloader in the Interactive Teacher Studio. Now, as the teacher, you have access to all of the student books and therefore all of the media that goes along with that, all of the video, all of the audio, all of the PDFs, as well as all of the information that's conductor-specific. So that's a lot of data and a lot of data to manage. All of those videos, all of that audio, all of those PDFs and worksheets are already integrated into the body of the score through the ITS. So, for example, there's a video icon breathing here. There's an alto clarinet video that relates to this particular exercise. I could click on that and watch that video or click on the speaker icon and hear the accompaniment recording or the demonstration. I could click on this and get a lesson plan. I can click on this and get a quiz. So it's all integrated already into the score. But many teachers would like to have this information downloaded directly onto their computer and that's what this video is going to address is how to get that information onto your computer and that's through this media downloader here so I'll click on that and then into my media downloader that is conductor score specific that's important because I'll come back to how to switch around later and I'm just gonna go through step by step here you have access to all of the audio in the book that's all the accompaniments and all of the demonstration tracks for all the Tradition of Excellence Book 1. If you're Mac, you click on iTunes. If you're PC, you click on Windows, or you can click on both. And then you would click on Get Selected Items. It'll download all that audio onto your computer, and it'll show you how to get there. It'll get you into that folder, and then you can take those files and put them into your iTunes or your Windows Media Player and burn CDs or make playlists or however you'd like to use your audio. There's a separate tutorial video uh, that addresses just downloading the audio, so if you have questions about that, feel free to watch that video. This next section of download use is for offline use. Basically what this does is it takes the book data, the general page data when you're looking at the pages, and the audio information and puts it into your cache. This is just to help teachers that might have spotty internet connection in their classrooms or in their offices so you can actually use the virtual book offline uh, and the pages would load if you've downloaded that material into your cache. Then when you empty your computer's cache, that would free up this space. Again, it's, it's really for use only if you have spotty or troublesome internet connection when you are going to be using your ITS. I have to caution you that the ITS is updated regularly by our friends at CHOS. So um, if you are not connected to the internet, the book is going to reflect the way it looked when you downloaded that information into your cache. So whenever possible, you should be connected to the Internet. That way, every time you load a page, you have the up-to-date updates for that particular page. So that's what the uh, downloads for offline use means. It's just going to take the basic data and make it available. That'll mean that some clicks won't work because you're not, you are not connected to the Internet. Moving on, video downloads for offline use. You can see that there are only three videos available here in the score. But as I said, you have access to the over 200 videos that we filmed for all of Book 1. And we'll show you how to do that momentarily, so just be patient. I'm going to go through this screen, and then I'll move on to the next step. But you do have access, rest assured, to all of the videos that are provided. And you can download them uh, through this media downloader. I'll show you shortly. On this particular window, the lesson plans are next. We've got um, three different formats. These are the same lesson plans but in three formats. One's a PDF, one's a Word document that's tailorable, and a text file that's uh, tailorable. There's a separate tutorial video available to you if you'd like to learn more about the design and the formats of the lesson plans. But as far as downloading them goes, you can click on just the lesson plan that you're interested in, or click on the subject heading, and then you'd get those selected items. Once you download that information, it goes into a separate folder called this Media Downloads folder that will give you access to all the files in your computer uh, where they've been placed. And I'll show you that momentarily. So here are all the different lesson plans for the book. Same idea with the quizzes. Here are the quizzes that are available in Tradition of Excellence Book 1. You can click on the quiz of the answer key you'd like or all of them. Get selected items. It'll put them in this folder in your computer. Here are all the worksheets available for all the different countries and composers that we've addressed. You can click on the specific ones you'd like, or just click on the subject heading and you'll get them all. Get selected items, it'll put it in your media downloads folder. Now if you're concerned on your computer you don't have these find folders over here, that just means you haven't downloaded them yet. Once you've downloaded the information, these icons come up for easy access to find that particular file that you're looking for. 
So don't be concerned if that icon's not on your computer yet. It will be once you download what you'd like to download. And then here are some of the uh, assessment line PDFs. And then blank staff paper score. So whatever you'd like to uh, download, you just click on those items and then hit Get Selected Items. Now when I clicked on it, it didn't select, and then it's because I've already downloaded that information. Okay. Now once you've downloaded what you'd like to download, it puts it into a specific folder on your computer called Media Downloads. The easiest way to access that folder is through this click here, Open Media Downloads Folder. And here it is. Now I'm in my computer, and I'm in where it placed these specific files. So here are all the test line assessment PDFs. Here are all my lesson plans in a separate folder in the three different formats. Here are the quizzes, and here are all the worksheets. Anything that I've downloaded, it'll put in here. And again, I'm not in the ITS right now. I'm in my computer into a specific folder. So then I can take these files and I can drag and drop them anywhere that I'd like or make separate folders or manage my media how I'd like to manage it. So now that was the, those are the downloads available through the Conductor Media Downloader. But as I said, all of the book data for all of the books is available for download should you need it. Again, it's already integrated into the ITS, so if you click on it, it's already going to take you to those places. But if you want that information on your computer, you can download it. And that's uh, what this click up here is. Here it says Tradition of Excellence Conductor Score, and that's the downloader window I'm in. But I have access to all of the books. So if I switch over to the flute book, I'm in the media downloader for that instrument. And here are all those flute videos. I can download onto my computer if I'd like to have access that way, as opposed to just using the Internet for that. Anything that your flute students have available for download, you're looking at exactly what they'll be seeing here. All right, these are all their downloads. If I'd like access to the plethora of percussion videos we've filmed, I switch over to the percussion book, and I'm already in there. Here are all the videos for that. I can select just the videos I'd like to use in that class particular day and hit Get Selected Items, or I can download them all. And this goes for every instrument stringing a valve on the horn. It's here. Now again, these videos are also already integrated into the ITS. So if you're on the score page and there's a video icon, you could click on that. It'll access that video through the internet. You didn't have to download it. This is again a downloader, so if you'd like to put the information onto your computer, this is how to do that. And that is how to use the media downloader in the Interactive Teacher Studio.